Just a minute, Sand. It's not lunchtime yet. What's everyone doing in the canteen? Uh, Zand, what on earth is going on? It's actually part of a plan to show you how nerves work. Now, the lunch queue represents one single nerve. All the way along the nerve are iron channels. And that's what the people in this lunch queue are. They pass the message from one place to another all along the length of the nerve. OK, I see. So I represent my own brain, and I'm thirsty and I want a cup of tea, but in order to get my hand to get me a cup of tea, I have to send a message down this line, just like the brain would send a nerve signal down a nerve. So my brain is using the iron channels in my nerve to send a message to my hand for a drink. Mm, tea. OK. Uh, milk, two sugars, please. Thank you. Ooh, this tea is very hot. I'd better send a note to Chris's brain, see what he wants me to do about it. Hurry up, Iron Channels. This is really hot. Ah! Tea is too hot. Hmm. Well, Zahn's message did eventually get to me, but it took a long time, didn't it? Well, from my perspective, the tea is too hot to drink, so I'm going to go back to the lab. Come on, Iron Channels. Uh, Chris? Chris? Thankfully, your nerves have a trick up their sleeves to make them work a whole lot better than our lunch queue. And we're going to show you just what that is by using dominoes. Dominoes? Great! Now, each line of dominoes represents a single nerve. And each domino is an iron channel, just like those people in the lunch queue. Now, in this lineup, all the dominoes are side by side. But in this lineup, there are rulers between each domino. And these rulers represent something called a myelin sheath. Now, in your body, there is a myelin sheath wrapped around many of your nerves. This is what allows messages to travel down your nerves in a very special way. Both cars will go round the loop, but... Which car is going to jump first? Let's find out. It's time for a nerve race. Wearing blue in lane one, it's the rampaging ruler, the myelin sheath mover, Dr Chris! And in lane two, the green machine, the domino dominator, Dr. Zahn. Drivers at the ready. Three, two, one, go! Yes! Let's see that again. What a start from Dr. Chris's myelin sheath as it streaks ahead of Dr. Zahn's dawdling dominoes. Exactly what happens inside your body as the myelin sheath, wrapped around the nerve, allows the signal to go super fast and sends the blue car speeding to the finish. It's just as well, because if your nerves were like Zahn's race, you'd be the slowest moving human on the planet. Oi! So, we've shown you the amazing superhighway of nerves that is your spinal cord. And we've shown you how they pass messages around your body so quickly at 100 metres per second. And that's all thanks to a layer of fat called the myelin sheath, which allows messages to jump along the nerve, getting to their destination super fast. Right, I want to have a rematch. Fine, we can. But you have to set up the dominoes. Well, no problem at all. OK, good. Now, this time, I'm going to want the other line-up. I wonder if I can get rid of some of these blue dominoes. Oh! We're on call with the UK Emergency Services. If you have an accident, an emergency service like this won't be far away. In the West Midlands, there are over 3,000 emergency calls per day, and this is one of the high-tech vehicles that responds to them. Today, I'm going along for the ride. If you have an accident, this fast medical service is ready to help 24 hours a day. We never quite know what we're going to find, so, I've got my camera with me, and of course we've got Eric in the back. So we're going to get as close as we can and find out what's going on. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. And a new case has come in. So we've just got a call about an 85-year-old man with chest pain. It sounds like he was unconscious, but he's awake again. So we're going to get there and see exactly what's happening. We get there quickly, grab the gear and head in to find the patient, Eric. Hello. Hiya. Eric, do you get this pain often? I've never had it like that before. Because Eric is experiencing a severe chest pain, Jan immediately hooks him up to a specialist piece of equipment. Is it lying on 
like today. So Jan's just doing an electrocardiogram, so she's doing a, a measurement of what's going on with Eric's heart. We've turned up and he's had chest pain and he collapsed and he's covered in sweat. And sometimes that can be a sign that someone's having a heart attack. The electrocardiogram analyzes Eric's heart rhythm and lets Jan know if it's beating normally. Okay, that's fine. What we need to do is we need to get you into hospital, get some blood tests done so they can check for some enzymes in your blood. Eric's in no immediate danger as his heart rhythm is normal, but he needs further tests in hospital to see if he has actually had a heart attack. Now, I see this spray's with you. Have you been using that this morning? Yeah. Jan spotted some heart medicine spray that Eric's used twice today. That's probably what's caused you to collapse because it drops your blood pressure, that spray. It looks in this case like rather than having a heart attack or something really serious going on, it seems like he just had a bit too much of his heart medicine. So Jan seems to have solved Eric's problem, but the paramedics will still need to take Eric to hospital to be extra sure nothing is going on with his heart. One of the nicest things that Jan has done here is being able to turn up, reassure everyone, find what seems to be the real cause, and now we'll just take him to hospital, make sure that nothing more serious is going on, and he can come back. All the best, Eric. And if you ever have an emergency, there are hundreds of similar crews around the country ready to help.